My name is Isaiah Hill, and today I'm playing Back to the Future, the game, uh, 30th Anniversary Edition. Guys, I'm really excited to do this. Uh, to let you know, I have platinum this game, and so I'm going to know what I'm doing. See, you got these five chapters. It's about time, get tanned, says the brown, double vision, out of time, and look at the top, 10-4. And this is a really cool video. We'll check that out later. So we're going to start off with It's About Time. Ah, that Back to the Future music. Um, I'm going to have subtitles on a uh, hint level. Uh, I don't think that we're going to need that. Um, uh, new up. Uh, yes, we're going to have the goals be shown. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's a Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. In this game, yeah. like many other Telltale games, as you may know, of uh, uses uh, dialogue boxes. Not me, the car, the car. Now, if you're curious, um, the channel that I did mention, um, Cinematic. My calculations uh, are with, correct. With, uh, this baby James hits Rolf, 88 miles per hour. Or Rolf, you're gonna see some him. serious shit. Uh, he does, a, he does, um, Basically, as his character, the angry video game nerd, where he attacks this, back to the future of the game. And this is where you're going to get your first uh, toys. Since uh, I'm a huge back to the future nerd, I'm going to choose you disintegrated Einstein. <laughs> what did I tell you? 88 miles and I'll be telling you, like, how you can get trophies. The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Doc. You disintegrated Einstein. Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to he be exact, at precisely 121 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? That's AJ Lokiasko. I, I, I'm, well, I, see I butchered that, but that's the one who's voicing car, Marty. And he did such Besides, a good job, because it does sound like Michael J. Fox. Look out! Uh, Doc? Ah, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, w what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Oh yeah, sorry about that, guys. I was chewing gum. And now you get to move around as Marty. And this is like, like... No time to talk now, Marty. Go to the toolbox and get that notebook. And I'm going to be doing a whole Let's Play on this, so I hope you enjoy. Steel container. <clears throat> What's in the box? Don't touch that! It's plutonium! Uh, uh, plutonium? How do you think I generated 1.21 gigawatts of power? <laughs> and... 
that's gonna make Notebook. it a whole lot Notebook. easier. Got it. I remember the PC flux version capacitor? of the game. That's it. Um, what the heck's a flux capacitor? You just scroll. You use like the plus. Possible. Have like a plus capacitor, I like emblem. You just move it around. breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. This is in the way it happened. That sounds familiar. We gotta get out of here. Of Z times that something's way off here. Yeah, because Einstein would have come. Yeah, he would have come back. Uh, Doc? Great Scott! Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake! Doc! Doc, no! I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! Hey, they still have the RQ book. Marty, is everything okay? Weird science and Frankenstein. Yeah, Mom, I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. And there it is, the picture from Back to the Future Part Three. Well, you're safe and sound. It's 808. Now, back in good old 1986. Oh. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late! Back to the future. The game. This is, takes place six months after the events of Back to the Future Part 3. Jules Verne. And it's so much clearer on here than, it, than on the PS3 version. May 14th, 1986. Two days shy of my birthday. I'm born May 16, 2000. And I believe they do have a... Um, Dad! Are we too late to stop the... A date that is sale? May 16. Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty. And Tom Wilson. Hi, Biff. We voiced the whole character. Come to see if the old crackpot okay. had any buried treasure. Nah, I guess I'm just... Remembering. I'd better stick around. Doc might have left something important behind. And he wouldn't want it to end up at Biff's place. Fair. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Hey, let me! Now, Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure! Sorry, Marty. I miss Einstein. 
the dog from Back to the Future. I, never I don't knew Doc think that I fish. talked about him in any Doc's of the fish and weird tasting decor. <laughs> I kind of like Doc. But... But that's the dog, and and in the first movie, Doesn't Einstein, it. So and then when they go back machine, into the past, the na dog name's Copernicus. To your own conception, for example. Jennifer like that. She's into old stuff. Hey, Biff. Oh, hi, Marty. What are you doing here? Well, I was as bummed as anybody to hear that the old mud case had kicked it. It's not. But I'm not above picking through the remains. You know what they say. Don't look a gift horse in the butt. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, uh... Doc's That's not hit, dead, you know. He's still around. It does that every oh, now and really? then. Oh, really? Do you see him around here? I'm looking for something, uh, in particular. Yeah? Something valuable? Uh... Uh, never mind. Hey, let me try, Marty. <laughs> now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. Uh, you got it, Mr. McFly. <laughs> Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. Doc must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. <laughs> Oh, it smells like beef stew. <laughs> Doc built this model at downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. You know, you and my folks go way back. Yeah? So? So how about letting me have that model courthouse for old time's sake? Eh, I think I'll keep it. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. And I'm not going to waste time on talking to Biff because he just, he won't give it to you. Rounds weren't food, kid, but this looks like it might be worth something. He's just like a bigger douche here than he is, like, if you can believe it or not. Doc sure did love his Jules Verne. Seems kind of empty without the courthouse. <laughs> hey, Dad, why is my guitar got a price tag on it? I really... Love this Sorry, game. It must have been an overzealous game that uh, my brother um, platinum I'll iron things as out well. the bank. Just off the door. Hey, Dad. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know- Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Excuse Maybe me. he's just hiding from his creditors. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so yeah, good with money. That, that's when just anyone talks about your best friend things. in such a negative but he's still a way, you will defend he never them. It doesn't from matter like, what they well, have you done, but you, but you will do, defend son, them. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. 
about Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. <laughs> oh, those. I'm sorry, I this guess you has can. weird facial animation. Okay, son, I'll stay out of your way. You know where to find me. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Now, this is really different because it will pop up, I believe, in the second game uh, with the photo of George looks like. And, and, it will, and it looks so much different. This one actually looks a lot better. I keep this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. It may not look like much, but it packs a wallop. <clears throat> Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Oh. Let me show you how it's done. When it's one for the monkey, two for the snow, three to get ready. Now go, Scat, go! Woo! Quality's good, but it needs more bass. And treble. And a volume. Let's make some noise. Ooh. If any of you guys have seen the first Bats of the Future movie, you know what happens. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming him up for me, butthead. You know what happened last time? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Wow! <laughs> Rock on, Biff. Oh, shit. <sighs> Ah, Doc. Wow. Where are you? Oh. Now, I haven't played this game in a while, so I've forgotten quite a bit. But I do know where the major, where the major trophies are, because like right now, you, for completing the of scene, like where you correctly do everything, like as Marty, and where you um. Like protect uh, Doc's notebook, you get a trophy. But I believe I'm gonna stop it right there, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you uh, wish to see my reviews, like of the movies, uh, all my Back to the Future reviews are on there. And if you want to see much more of the game, subscribe. And if you want to ask me anything or request anything, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much, guys. This has been Isaiah Hill, signing off.